It's definitely a protein-rich snack that will satisfy any meaty craving that you're having. Hello, friends and family, and welcome to another exciting episode of Rink Life. This is Quarantine Edition. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. As you can see, I'm in my kitchen. I'm actually going to be doing a cooking video, something I've been wanting to do for a while, so I'm excited. Let's see how this turns out. Today we're going to be cooking a recipe that's a little bit different than what most of my viewers are probably used to. It is beefless beef jerky. It is a vegan recipe using no beef at all, but hopefully the end product will be just as good as beef jerky that you can buy in the store. Anyway, this is a recipe that I came up with on my own. It's probably very similar to ones that you can find online, but I didn't copy anyone. I just threw ingredients together until it tasted right to me. So go ahead and follow along and let's get started. So first, let's go ahead and go over the ingredients that we're going to be using. Some of these are important. So first, we're going to be using salt, of course, pepper, paprika, molasses, soy sauce. I used low sodium soy sauce, not because this is going to be a low sodium recipe, but I like to be able to control how salty it is. And since we're adding salt, having the low sodium soy sauce allows us to have a little bit more control over that. So it's not so salty as soon as we add the soy sauce. We're going to be using Worcestershire sauce. This is important what brand you use because a lot of Worcestershire sauces have anchovies in them. The Kroger brand, which is sold at either Kroger Markets if you're on the east side or Fred Meyers if you're on the west side, is actually 100% vegan Worcestershire sauce. So that's a good one to use. If you can't find this, Amy's has one and there's a few other brands that are good. Balsamic vinegar garlic powder, accent, a very controversial ingredient for a lot of people. This is actually 100% MSG. I'm not going to go into the research, but I've done enough research that I'm not worried about any ill effects of MSG. I actually believe that it's good for you in multiple ways, so go ahead and do your own research. If you're comfortable using it, use it because it really kicks up the flavor. Garlic powder, dark brown cane sugar, and then, of course, the star of the show. This one, a lot of you might not have seen. It's by a brand called Verisoy, called Taiwanese Vegan Beef Slice. This is essentially textured vegetable protein that has been shaped into slices and then colored brown. It works really well as a beef substitute. I use it in all kinds of stuff. I have to go to Portland to an Asian market to buy this. That's the only place I've found that you can get it from. I've seen it on Amazon, but it's way overpriced. So if you have any type of Asian market in your town or in a city nearby, stop by and see if they have this. If you cannot find this product, there's other products you can use, such as soy curls or any large type of textured vegetable protein will work fine in this recipe. But this is what I recommend. Try to find it if you can. It's really worth it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and mix together all of the ingredients except for the actual uh, beef slices. So the Quantity of these ingredients will be in the description, but remember all of the quantities are very approximate I'm not one that generally measures stuff when I cook. I just tend to throw it in until it tastes good But we're gonna start out with the brown sugar the soy sauce The vinegar The Worcestershire These are all the spices you got the pepper Paprika, garlic, salt, accent, and then of course some um, molasses. Not that much. Gonna do a quick whisk on that, get that all mixed up. And then I'm going to go ahead and give that just a little bit of a taste, see how it is. Just perfect. Alright, so now we're going to move to the stove. Go ahead and turn the burner on to high. I'm going to add about half of the bag of beef slices, vegan beef slices. So it's a 7 ounce bag, 
we're gonna do about three and a half ounces. You can obviously do a bigger or smaller batch based on how much you want to make. We are going to add our sauce. And then we're gonna simply add water. Enough water to cover all of the beef. Just about like that. Give it a stir. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and bring it to a boil. Okay, once it starts to boil, go ahead and give it a stir. I know I should probably tell you, go ahead and turn that down to a simmer and let it sit, but I'm not going to. Gonna keep that on high because what we wanna do is we wanna keep cooking it until all of the moisture is gone. What that's gonna do is it's going to make the beef the right tenderness, and it's also going to let all those flavors soak into the pieces. So we will be stirring it occasionally until it gets to the point where most of the liquid's gone, then we're gonna wanna stir it until we're done. Should be about good there. Now you might be thinking, wow that took a long time to get all that water to evaporate out. Well it actually was only about 15 minutes from the time we started cooking this. So not honestly much longer than you would cook a pot of spaghetti. But you also have to keep in mind if we were making real beef jerky it would take us overnight to marinate it in the sauces for that flavor to soak in. So this is actually a lot quicker than if you were making it out of real meat. All right, so this next step is probably the most important part about making jerky. We're actually gonna go ahead and smoke it. I have a Little Chief smoker. This is the rack out of it. You'll see what I did on mine was I went ahead and got some aluminum window screen and put it over the racks. Just because some of these pieces are smaller, it helps them from falling through. That's optional, that's up to you. You might have a different type of smoker. Whatever you use is just fine. We're gonna let the meat cool a little bit so we don't burn our hands. And of course, a very important step when you're doing anything with your hands and food, wash your hands. That's important, especially now where we're worried about viruses and contaminations. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start putting these on the rack. Okay, so here we are, we're outside, obviously. No smoking in the house, right? Well, I've got my Little Chief smoker plugged in and going. I've got it loaded up. I'm using cherry wood today, but you can use any type of wood that you like. If you don't have a smoker, I highly recommend getting one. I found this one at a thrift store. I think I paid $5 for it. They are everywhere. They are easy to find. They don't take up a whole lot of room and they're really easy to use. So if you like good smoky food, skip the fake smoke flavoring. This makes it a whole lot nicer, more authentic. So we're gonna go ahead and add the rack with our meat into it. Some people say to go ahead and get the smoker started and wait till it starts smoking before you add it, but it's gonna be in there so long, I go ahead and add it shortly after I plug it in.
I said after about half an hour of smoking, the wood chips had all burned up. So I went ahead and put in one more batch of wood chips, put it in for another half hour. So they've been in the smoker about an hour now, and I think we are ready to go. Ooh, look at those. I don't know how well you can see those, but they look just awesome. See if I can give you a close up. Look at that. Look at that tear. So here we go. This is the finished product. I went ahead and weighed it and it made about 11 ounces of jerky. If any of you have bought vegan beef jerky, you know that this stuff is pretty expensive. So I think it's definitely worth making your own. So we've got our official taste tester here, Susie. She's going to try some of this and tell you what she thinks about it. What are your thoughts? I didn't know better, I would have thought it was normal jerky. So is it good? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well that's all we have for you today. Signing out. <laughs>